from the University of California at Davis. This is News Watch. California voters defeated a peripheral canal proposal more than 25 years ago, but the authors of a new study are recommending just that as the best solution to the Delta's ecological and economic problems. On the environmental side, certainly the biggest change is the crash of the ecosystems and many of the fish species. Clearly what we're doing and the kinds of systems that we've been trying to make work uh, in the last 10 or 20 years, they're not working for the fish. This peripheral canal is probably going to be the first major infrastructure investment that adapts to climate change. Taken from the Sacramento-San Joaquin Delta, water is sent south to pumps that deliver this precious commodity to farmers, businesses, and households in Southern California. Lund says the idea of rerouting water will by no means solve all the environmental problems. The current way of exporting water through the Delta is not sustainable with sea level rise and climate change and continued land subsidence. You might be able to eke this along for another decade or so. Mount says the biggest hurdles to a solution are lawmakers and the voters. The water politics today is, are in gridlock. Now, it's a little different than in the past. There's a broader realization that we really have a significant problem. Each group is not necessary, necessarily going to get better together. There are going to be some winners and losers. The scientists from both UC Davis and the Public Policy Institute of California say the canal is the cheapest alternative and the best choice for the environment. Paul Fotenauer reporting from Sacramento. For more information, please log on to broadcast.ucdavis.edu.